every day we have lectures in the morning, um, our educational didactic series from eight to nine, and then uh, for the most part, all AP services start sign out at nine, and they'll sign out, um, you and the attending will sign out from nine to one at the latest, and you'll have previewed the cases the night before with your preliminary diagnoses um, in our computer LIS system, and then you and the attending will go over your diagnosis. Uh, typically then we'll break for lunch and there's a daily consensus at 1 p.m. with interesting and difficult cases from different subspecialties. And then the afternoon is really yours to make with it what you want, whether you want to gross your specimens first and then preview specimen or cases for the next day or if you'd like to you know flip those. From a teaching perspective a lot of the teaching happens for example on a surgical pathology service um, at the at the scope so when you're signing out um, one of the great things about the University of Michigan is that you're you will predictate all of your diagnoses when you're previewing cases and what's nice about that is that it it projects when you're signing out what your, what you thought of a particular case. And so that makes for a really great springboard for a faculty member to, to kind of tailor how they teach you. So a lot of that is in a conversational manner. Sometimes it can be that they, they'll draw something out for you um, or they'll give you reading materials to, to go over and then you can discuss later. But there, I find that our faculty are really great at tailoring the sign out experience to, to your level of training and to make sure that you are getting something out of this. And There's a, an expert in almost any subspecialty of pathology that you can think of and they will give didactics on that topic so it's, it's not uncommon to have you know to be getting a, a morning conference from somebody who has literally written the book in that field. On top of that we do a summer series where we kind of introduce more for the first years or junior residents, but kind of introduce just some basic topics. Uh, some of them are taught by uh, upper level residents, some are taught by faculty, but it's really, I think it gives you every step of, you're not only seeing the bread and butter basics that you need from didactics, but you also get a chance to see some of the more cutting edge uh, research oriented, some of those things. On top of it, we have a lot of didactics about um, just general things in pathology such as uh, the different pathology organizations you can join and there's really it's very well-rounded in terms of the didactics.